Hi, I'm Cillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I'll show you how to draw an easy step-by-step -step picture of a duck. Enjoy! So, this one is not going to be Donald, and it's not going to be Daffy, but it's a mallard. Or wild duck and it's the most common species of duck and as you'll see it has a glossy green head uh, the males have a have gray wings and the females are speckled with brown so I suppose this will be a female in that case And ducks are a mostly aquatic bird. They live in freshwater and seawater, and they are found on every continent except for Antarctica. They are related to swans and geese, and they are curious and friendly creatures. People keep them as pets and farm animals and they have been doing so for more than 500 years. All domestic ducks are either mallard or muscovy. A male duck is called a drake, and the female is called a hen, and of course the baby is a duckling. And I don't think they're ugly. They are omnivores, and they'll eat aquatic plants and small fish, insects, worms, and of course whatever you throw at them. Diving ducks and sea ducks can search for food very deep underwater, and the heaviness of their body helps with that. And dabbling ducks feed on the surface of the water or on land, and the edge of their beak has what's like a, a sieve, a comb kind of structure, it's called a pectin, and that helps them to hold on to food so it shouldn't slip away, and it helps them to filter all kinds of interesting nutrients from the water. So while ducks are molting, that's when their their feathers are changing. They can be quite vulnerable since the feathers that enable them to fly fall out and are yet to be replaced. So they can't get away as fast as they would like to. They can live for five to ten years in the wild similar amount of time in captivity. And their beautiful feathers are very waterproof, which I guess helps if, since they're living in the water, because of the way the feathers interlock and the waxy coating that's on them. They're also useful creatures. Their downy soft feathers have been used for many years to stuff our quilts and pillows and keep us comfortable and cozy in the winter. And you can eat their eggs and their meat. Some say they taste quite good. Especially their their livers, considered a delicacy. So if you're enjoying this video, click the like and subscribe to my channel. And watch me draw other animals.
The white peccant duck is the most common variety that's raised for eggs and meat. I guess uh, that makes sense to use their feathers also if you want your pillows and blankets to be white. We have some bubbles in the water. And we have the reflection down below. Reflections don't have to be perfect. They just have to give a sort of fuzzy idea of what's above them. And here we'll use some different shades of blue for all these watery ripples. Here's that beautiful bright green head. It actually has a few shades of green. And it's really very shiny. Compared to the rest of the duck, it really stands out. Since the rest of the duck is rather plain colors, the head and the beak are really very pretty. The brighter you want your colors to look, well, that's the more times you should go over them with light pencil strokes. And of course, to give any nice speckles of white, you can use a mechanical eraser. It's a lot of fun. So I recommend it. Ducks are a lot of fun to feed. They really will hang on to you if you offer them something. They won't leave you alone afterwards. So I hope you enjoyed watching me throw this mallard duck. Have a great day.